Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to do a small little Q&A type video. Um, I asked you guys to ask me random ass motherfucking questions on Instagram and on my Snapchat. So thank you so much for those of you that took the time out to ask me questions. Because um, the tea is about to get real, bitch. First of all, if you're at home, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Pop open that bottle of wine. Is it even good? It's in my, been in my fridge for like a month when I opened it. <laughs> so if you're at home just chilling, pop open your bottle of wine. Hit that little bleasy right quick because the tea is about to get Alright, so hot. for those of you guys that don't really know me, my name is Dahlia. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my motherfucking channel, bitch. This is a place for us to just talk, kind of hang out, kind of girl But time. I asked you guys to ask me a couple questions on Instagram, and we're going to go ahead and just start off with the first motherfucking first question, question I got was, do you have cheat days or cheat meals and are, and are, what are you go doing to lose weight? Have you reached your goal yet? Okay, so the first question was, do you have cheat days or cheat meals? And the answer is yes. I have cheat meals. I try not to do cheat days because it's kind of hard to cheat all day and like come back from that. So I try to do like one cheat meal. It's usually either on Saturday or Sunday. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I have two days that I have cheat meals. So I'll have a cheat meal on Saturday and then I'll have another one on Sunday. But the key is to cheat in moderation like i my portion sizes are a lot smaller even though i'm cheating like normally if i like if i cheat with pizza i'll have like one or two slices not five you know what i'm saying like i'm still cheating because i'm still having pizza but i'm not having as much i do and have then, cheat meals because like honestly how can you not have cheat meals like there's so much temptation everywhere you go whether you go out to eat or you're just at home because not everyone in your family is having the same lifestyle changes as you are and yeah, sometimes it can be really hard because I look at my boyfriend and I'm like, bitch, you're skinny as fuck. You eat whatever the fuck you want. You eat like no vegetables at all and you still weigh the same weight that you weighed in high bitch, school. Bitch, I get motherfucking salty because I'm like, how can you eat all this shit and not fucking gain weight? And I'm over here gaining weight for the both of us. Like, bitch, what? How does that even make but sense? to answer your question, before I get off topic, I do have cheat meals. Try not to have cheat days because it's hard to come back. Part of the question. The other was what are you doing to lose weight so right now i'm honestly trying to work out at least five times a week sometimes i work out six times a week and what i do to work out right now is i've been going to a zumba class i really love the zumba class that i go to because not only is it intense as fuck cardio but she does a lot of weights if you live in the grand prairie arlington area i definitely recommend for you to give them a try they have a facebook page the name of the studio is called dance remix studio if you're familiar to the grand prairie area it's on matthew and polo close to south grand prairie which is a nice side um, but I definitely recommend for you to give it a try. I mean, you never know if you're going to like it until you try it. If you want to try one class, it's only $5. Like, worst case scenario, you lose Yeah, so you know I'm sorry I'm I keep like, rambling and shit, but it's just hard to answer each question without a long so answer. the next answer, question but is, do you plan on having any kids and when? I do want kids. How many kids I want? I don't know. I want, like, two or three. My boyfriend wants, like, five, and I'm like, bitch, with who? Cause they ain't all coming out of me <laughs> what has kept you motivated to stay working out honestly seeing the change in my clothes and my weight and just my attitude and me just feeling good and honestly this apple watch has fucking helped me a ton like it kind of keeps track of your daily movement it keeps track of all your workouts and all that stuff so i definitely feel that a watch or just any kind of watch that tracks your, your steps and stuff like that, your calories that you burn, is helpful. Because if you look at it and you see and you're like, damn, I've only burned 100 calories all day today. Like, what are you doing? You know? What like, is your favorite store to shop at? Your outfits be looking cute. So if y'all don't follow me or if y'all don't know, I fucking fucks with Rule 21. Like that is like my favorite ass store. Like literally everything in my closet is from Rule 21. Um, if it's not, it's from like Ross or Burlington or like TJ Maxx. But usually majority of the clothes, this shirt 
is from Rule 21. So if you haven't heard of Rule 21, y'all fucking sleeping on them. Their deals are bomb as fuck. They always have crazy ass sales and coupons. So I'll definitely post like a come shop with me at um, Rule 21. I'll probably have someone help me film that. Um, I could probably do like an under 50 outfit. Like if that's something y'all would want to see. Let you go know. I love putting outfits together. So um, shopping is basically one of my pastimes. Am I addicted to shopping? Probably. Do I need to stop? Hell yeah, my bank account's telling me to, but it's a little Expression fucking hard. Is, <laughs> are you ever going to get married? Honestly, that's not a question for me. That should be, um, my boyfriend should answer that question because that's what I want to know. <laughs> It'll happen Have eventually. you been doing makeup as a professional makeup artist? So I have been doing makeup as a makeup artist for going on four-ish years, I think. I've been doing makeup for four years now. I have taken a couple classes to get like more knowledge and stuff like that. But in the state of Texas, you don't have to be a certified makeup artist. So you don't have to go to any specific schooling or anything like that. You can literally just make business cards and say you're a makeup artist, to be honest. But um I have been doing it for about four years now and um, I have learned a lot on the way and honestly I've gotten a lot better than what I was before so y'all fuck with me. <laughs> Another question that I got was do you remember when we had chemistry together with Samuel L. Jackson? Ha ha ha. Laugh my ass off. I want to say we were in what 10th grade maybe or was it 11th grade? I honestly don't remember, but I do fucking remember, and I swear, he like fucking hated us. He really did. <laughs> so, another question that I got was, what is something that you would tell your younger self? Or what kind of advice would you give your younger self? Basically, bitch, to be honest, pay your motherfucking student loans. Like, don't be that bitch and say, oh, I'm not gonna pay them, like, who fucking cares? Like, no, bitch. Pay your motherfucking student loans because that will be that one thing that will bite you in the ass. I've been there. I'm gonna spill the tea with y'all real quick. Your bitch didn't get an income tax last year because I thought I was that bitch that was gonna get away with not paying their student loans. No, the bitch. Department of Education fucking will fucking take your income tax. They'll fucking take your checks. Like, bitch, I need my money. You know what I'm saying? So last year when I didn't get my income tax, I was like, Excuse me, like I worked hard as fuck all year for that money. I don't have kids, so it's not like that check be looking great and whatnot. But if I could go back in time and give myself advice, would be to fucking pay your student loans. Like get on a fucking payment plan. Like that's what I'm doing right now. Five dollars a month, like who fucking cares? It's five dollars. But I always thought that I would be that bitch and not pay her shit. Y'all don't do that. Y'all pay the fucking government, pay the Department of Education because they will come and they will take your income tax. Don't be a sucker, because I was a sucker last year. <laughs> that was pretty much the last question. I, I wanted to just kind of come on here and talk a little bit just because I don't ever post videos like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was kind of short, kind of sweet, kind of little I different. I do have a vlog on my channel that I just posted, so y'all make sure to check that out. I have a couple Valentine's Day looks, which I know is not Valentine's Day anymore, but you could totally rock them hose anywhere. Make sure to check those out as well. If you did I like the video, time. please give it a big thumbs up. If you were not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it and love it so much if you would do that. And if you like this video, Give it a big thumb. But yeah, bitch. that is pretty much the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. So 500 calories. Let's just estimate 500 times 5. That's 250 calories. Bitch. Oh my god. Knocking over ring lights and shit. Oh my god, that. The preparation to film a video? Like, bitch. In case y'all didn't know, I'm a cancer, and cancers are fucking sensitive as fuck, and the waterworks can kind of start adding more. as fuck. Lady, go over there, you breathe too hard. Anybody else have Pomeranians that have that problem? Like, they're literally. Like, golly! Wait, so mom about to film a video. What? <coughs> Excuse me.